Three. Like to kind of believe that. Peter, how is Argentina? How is Curacao lining up today? Let's start with whichever team you want first. Argentina make five changes from that side that won against Panama. Dibu Martinez in goal. The back four, Montiel, Pisella and Acuna, the two that come in. Otamendi keeps his place. The midfield three, Fernandez, McAllister keep their places but are joined by Giovanni Lo Celso. And then in attack, Lautaro Martinez and Nico Gonzalez come into the starting lineup to go alongside Lionel Messi. Curaçao with Eloy Rom, Julian Gari, Cucu Martina, Rashad Van Ajman. And then, of course, Cheryl Flores, Vernon Anita, Brandy Cuvas, Leandro Bacuna, Kenny Corre, and of course, up top it'll be Rangelo Yanga and Juninho Bacuna. The starting 11 for Remco Vicentini. So much, it's, it's kind of funny because I'm talking about Leandro Bacuna, of course, in the starting lineup today. Leandro Bacuna was, was being interviewed a few days ago, actually, yesterday to be more precise by a, an Argentine journalist and he grabs one of, he goes into his Instagram profile and puts on the, and he goes and sees a post that he put, says, my goat, and of course it's, it's Leo Messi. On the day that Argentina wins the World Cup, since then that, that post itself ended up gaining new life in Argentina as it became viral basically throughout all of Argentina after it was seen on television. Of course we see the referees, it'll be a Uruguayan group, Gustavo Tejero will be leading the way will be accompanied by Carlos Barrero and Richard Trinidad. Cristian Ferreira will be the fourth referee. So we are almost ready to go here in Santiago del Estero, Peter. Now, one thing to, to say, okay, yeah, it's all celebration. It's all taking in and, and being in an instance where you can have communion with your fans, but it's also pushing where you start to also profile yourself qualifiers as well. So we hope we're just uh, seeing the, the Curacao line up there on, on the screen now. As we already went through, Roman Gol, Gary, Martina, Panaima, Rodinus, Anita, and two Bakunas making the midfield from the front three of Kuas, Kanga, and Gore. And a lot of these players for Curacao, many of them have been veterans of many battles dating back to 2017 and 2019 when they really had a very important run in the Gold Cup. Came very close to getting into World Cup qualifying or deep into World Cup qualifying. Mind you, many of these players play domestically, but a good portion of them play in the Netherlands and have played in the Netherlands. Eloy Rome, for example, played for a brief stint over at the Columbus Crew in the United States as we are underway here at the Madre de Ciudades Argentina in their traditional albiceleste. Curacao in their alternate navy blue. Of course, it's Otamendi alongside. This difference in quality between this team and Thursday's Panama side, who were largely still based at home, whereas this is a side, as you say, playing in Europe and maybe the Netherlands, or with significant experience. Messi getting past two defenders, Leo with the left foot, looking to open things up down the near side. Macariste. Trying to microscopically sneak that ball in. Ball again won. Trying to slide it through. Messi! Coach back in. Messi! Well, so many of those hundred coming from that sweet left foot of his. And this one with the right of Leo Messi just gets trapped under his feet for a moment. But he's able to get away from Martina. And then with that weaker foot, finds the bottom corner to give Argentina their deserved breakthrough and give the man of the hour, the man of the moment, a historic moment for his international career. 100 goals for Argentina. Third player in history to get to 100 goals. Yeah, I think that ball's gonna be kept somewhere in that already vast museum that he was talking about. 174 caps, 100 goals for Leo. Lionel Andres Messi Cuccitini. 
He joins Cristiano Ronaldo. He joins Ali Dae as the only player. Erwin Lo Celso one more time. Gio. The header off the line. Oh! Well, have the floodgates just open. Two in quick succession. It's Nico Gonzalez who gets there above room to head in. And then we said before, an important night for Gonzalez having missed out on the World Cup through injury. And now he truly gets to mark tonight with a celebratory goal. It's another poor goal to give away defensively. Cleared off the line by Vernon Anita. He shouldn't be beating the goalkeeper to that second ball. Rome, despite all the sensational saves he made, that charge to that ball, he should have ran over Nico Gonzalez. One by Alexis McAllister. Gonzalez, back to McAllister, who lays it off to Enzo Fernandez. McAllister. Gonzalez, with Acuna making a run down the near side. Nico. Misk. Oh. Oh. Goal! Oh, Leo Messi times two. Argentina three. Curacao nil. 100 becomes 101 very quickly, and he wouldn't bet on that ending there. Lionel Messi. This time on his left foot, again afforded way too much space as Nico Gonzalez drives forward. No one tight enough there, and Messi, a couple of touches, and still no challenge as he gets that shot off. This time, Eloy Room can do absolutely nothing but just watch that go inside that far corner. All too easy for Argentina, 3-0. 800 became 801, and 801 became 802. Now this perhaps not the biggest of tests and we may well see Messi add to that tally but something to say for his form for Argentina over the last year or so only one game that game against Poland in the World Cup he didn't manage to score in something like the last 12 or 13 games other than that one he has managed to score before coming into tonight he scored 18 Nico Gonzalez, watch out with 12. his through ball sorry Messi looking for the hat-trick Leo has to step back Enzo Fernandez Golazo Fernandez, 4-0 for Argentina. Is it too soon to start saying this is getting very, very ugly for Curaçao? Again, it's so easy. Messi draws players to him, lays it off, and ends up Fernandez from just outside the box. We know the quality he has on that right foot. He's able mm -hmm. to find his spot. Again, Room just watching as it goes inside that corner, making it 4-0. Enzo Fernandez getting his second goal for the national team since, of course, that beautiful strike against Mexico at the World Cup. And who set that one up for him, too? Leo Messi. He was actually talking about that the other day in an interview. He talked about what, you know, how... how... Three. Near the top of the six, cleared away by Le Lautaro Martinez. Messi. Waiting for that ball to come to him. Finally, it goes through. Messi looking for a hat trick. Leo, Leo, Messi, 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 Messi. Oh! Goal! Leo Messi times three. He's got the hat trick. Will you want more? I don't know. But right now, it's 5 0 Argentina. And it's the 50th hat-trick of Lionel Messi's remarkable career. Lo Celso and Messi linking up again here to great effect. I talked about the relationship between those two players. We were robbed of seeing at the World Cup, but here they combine. Lo Celso clipping the ball over the top, and once Messi's into that position, there's no stopping him. Calmly slots it in. Hat-trick for him. Argentina 5-0 up here and absolutely coasting. sounds like a lot of effort though
What is that, 102 goals for Messi with the national team now? Di Maria. Angel. Angel has room. That'll be a handball. Don't want to be giving now, Di Maria that kind of space. Now, was it a penalty inside onto his left foot? Was it a penalty inside of the area? That's what the referee's calling. It looks like it. Let's see. Right there. Now, it'll be Di Maria. Franco Armani is about to come on. As one of the heroes for Argentina in that match against France. Looking again at the score sheet. It'll be Di Maria. Di Maria! Goal! Angel Di Maria with his 29th goal for the Argentine national team. 6-0. Well, normally, the number 10 would be reserved for those duties, but he's already got himself a hat-trick, so it's another one of the favourites, another one of the icons from this era for Argentina. And Angel Di Maria makes no mistake, as you said before, rapidly rising up the list of most appearances, and so too the most goals. Number 29, rapidly closing in on the sixth place, Gonzalo Higuain. And once you get above then, it's a who's who, really, of Argentine football. Maradona, Crespo, Aguero, Batistuta, and of course Messi. Listen to that response for Dibu Martinez, yes, sir. one of the biggest characters in Argentine football. A remarkable, remarkable story of Dibu Martinez. And now taking his place, almost second only to Lionel Messi in terms of popularity in the national team. And we go from the starter in 2022 to the starter in the World Cup in 2018. In full, part of that World Cup in 2018 in Franco Armani. The lone player representing... No, no, him. absolutely not. Certainly credit him for keeping this down below double well, figures. Well, well, wait, maybe one. The one that, that Nico Gonzalez scored that he wasn't able to clear out. Yeah, that was the only Outside one. Outside of that, everything opinion. else. I'm sorry? That was the one I mentioned, the only one. Yeah. Here's another chance to make it seven. And the ball goes through. Oh! Gonzalo Montiel makes it seven. And yes, on this one, he had nothing that he could do. And he still tried. Seven nil. Still tried to claw that one back from the goal line, but this time, Room can't keep it out. And Montiel gets his first goal, or certainly first goal from open play for Argentina. The man who scored the decisive penalty in the World Cup final against France. And all the more important goal than the one tonight. But still marking his 23rd appearance with his first goal for the national team, making it 7 0. And now we can start talking about historic. Why? Because it's the first time 